Helping you live healthy. This week, Jane Fonda announced that she has been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and has started chemotherapy treatments. In a post on social media, the actress wrote, this is a very treatable cancer. 80% of people survive, so I feel very lucky. She went on to say, we also need to be talking much more, not just about cures, but about causes so we can eliminate them. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma, Lymphoma is one of the most common cancers in the United States, accounting for about 4% of all cancers. The American Cancer Society estimates more than 80,000 people will be diagnosed with cancer this year. Well, joining us now to talk about NHL is Dr. Scott Ackerman with the Ackerman Cancer Center. So uh, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So can you just explain to us what is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and how is it different from any of the other cancers? Sure. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is also known as malignant lymphoma. And it's a disease, the malignancy of the lymph nodes, lymphoma, lymph nodes. And it usually begins in a lymph node, a lymph nodes enlarge and it could be localized to one area, it could spread throughout the body to other lymph nodes, it even could spread to the bone marrow and to organs. And we know that Jane Fonda said that about 80% of people survive it, but I think for a lot of people, we know Jane Fonda as this aerobics queen, she's the, a big fitness advocate. How could uh, someone like her or the average person be diagnosed? Well, anyone could be diagnosed with malignant lymphoma. And malignant lymphoma is a very uh, there's a wide spectrum of diseases within malignant lymphoma. She's very lucky to have one that has a highly curable, uh, a high cure rate, 80%, as she said, because some of those subtypes of lymphoma aren't so curable, some very aggressive ones. But how does she get it? You know, we don't know. We know that we see sometimes in families, there could be a preponderance of lymphoma in families. We do see sometimes we know that some chemicals and um, environmental carcinogens can increase your risk of developing malignant lymphoma. Uh, but there's still a lot more we need to we can learn about it um, to try to understand the etiology or what causes lymphoma. And what are some of the symptoms of it? So typically, it presents with an enlarged lymph node. In the neck or the groin, you feel a little lymph node enlarged. And that's what brings most patients, that's the ones I see, to the doctor with these lymph nodes that are enlarged. They eventually get evaluated and worked up, and we do a biopsy, and we find out that's lymphoma. But it doesn't always have to begin that way. There are some that begin in the, in the gastrointestinal tract, and so it can begin with, with a, a poor appetite or change of bowel habits. Uh, weight loss is frequently associated with lymphoma. And there's these things called B symptoms that we see with lymphomas. And these are symptoms of weight loss, night sweats, and fever. Okay, so how is it treated? So malignant lymphoma is treated, I, usually we do a biopsy, so there's always a surgical procedure with any kind of cancer, but it's not treated surgically. It's only, the only role for surgery really is just to biopsy the lymphoma. It's treated either with, either with chemotherapy or radiation therapy or a combination of the two. Okay, and is there any way at all that people can prevent this from uh, happening? Oh gosh, that's a great question. We don't know enough about the etiology or what causes lymphoma to be able to say what you could do to prevent it from happening. But I guess avoiding certain chemicals and carcinogens that we know are related to lymphoma can, can help minimize your risk of lymphoma. But other than that, there's not a whole lot you could do. Okay, so what could we do uh, you know, as a community to start you know, becoming more educated about this and learning more about that? I think it's important that people are aware of their bodies, aware of what the, what's normal for them, and to see a physician <clears throat> when they have a, a weird symptom that's, that's different. Because lymphoma, like any other cancer, is best treated and more easily treated when caught early. So if you have a significant amount of weight loss, or night sweats, or fevers, or feel a lump before that lump gets larger and you see other lumps in your body, uh, see your physician and have that evaluated. Because it can be worked up and cured very easily if it's caught early. So you definitely have to pay attention to your body then at that point. All right, exactly. thank you so much, Dr. Ackerman. It was a pleasure having you on this morning.